Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout is scheduled for four rounds in the junior welterweight division. Introducing first boxing out of the blue corner to my left. He's wearing black trunks with red trim. He comes to us all the way from New York, New York. He is a Boston Boxing Promotions veteran and he was involved in the 2020 BBP Fight of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome back for Robert Bricks. And his opponent, standing directly across the ring wearing black trunks with white trim. He comes to us from nearby Methuen, Massachusetts, and enters the ring with a record of one win, zero defeats, one big win by way of KO. Ladies and gentlemen, Jordan, the Joker, Yanton. Your referee, Tom Clark, four rounds, junior welterweights. All right, everybody, four rounds, junior welterweights, Jordan Yanton versus Robert Bricks. My name is Gray Johnson, joined here by Scott Sullivan. This should be a very interesting fight. Jordan Yenton, 1-0, looking to get his second professional win against seven-fight veteran Robert Bricks. And one thing we know about Robert Bricks is he comes right at you and he gives everything he's got. So I, I, I don't know. We'll see. In the stare down, Bricks just put his head right on Yard and Yenton's head. Yenton, uh, a little bit shorter than Bricks, uh, comes fights out of the Southpaw Boxing and Fitness Gym. Had his first pro fight just uh, recently, August 6th, beat Tom Kenny in a first round stoppage. While Robert Bricks' last fight was also in this ring, uh, had a defeat to Ryan Clark and Jordan Yenton already trying to throw some haymakers. And Robert Bricks. Right hand over the top. You see a lot of those from, uh, from Jordan Yenton so far. Robert Bricks trying to hold on. Yenton getting warned there. This is Yenton's hometown, so he's fired up. He's ready, to, he's ready to win by knockout. He wants to win impressively in front oh, of his people. These guys are not thinking decision right now. Both guys uh, trading hooks here on the inside. I don't know if a whole lot is landing, but Robert Bricks not afraid to let the hands go. And neither is Jordan Yenton. Oh, a nice a overhand chopping right. overhand right for Bricks. Hopefully Bricks won't burn himself out here. Yanton staying That's, pretty calm under fire right now. Absolutely. But he just ate another right hand over the top. Stamina is gonna be key in this fight. That was a nice try. Yanton calmed down a little bit, but he's showing really good head movement right now. He's making Bricks hit air. Yeah, I can see the pace of the fight after a quick start here, Scott. It's definitely starting to slow down a bit. Body shots there by Jordan Yenton. I think Yenton's trying to trying too hard for the knockout right now. If he if he settled down with his punches and placed them better, he'd get the knockout. Oh, nice. Like one that two. right hand right there. Nice short straight right hand's what landed. I think Jordan Yen has taken round number one, but certainly been competitive. Yeah, Bricks had his moments, but Yen just looked better overall that round. Yeah. Clean of punches. Scott Lampert, pro fighter also, giving instruction to Scott Lampert in his corner while the team at Southpaw uh, 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 Boxing Fitness and Gym working in the corner right now with Jordan Yen, Mike, head trainer there. Jordan the Joker, Yen, 29 years old. 
He's not joking right now. No. He's, he's trying to knock the, no, Bricks his head off. A bit small for this weight class at five foot four. As we roll into round number two of four. See how Bricks comes out. Yan was taking control at the end of the round. Bricks with some head movement. Don't see that often from him. Very, pa yeah, I would say for a Robert Bricks fight, this is a, for his standards, I think pretty patient. Yan though landed a lead, lead shot there that definitely caught Bricks' attention. And Bricks with a nice little shot there as well. See, like I said last round, if Yanton just puts his punches, doesn't try to knock him out with every punch and places him, he'd get hit less as well. See, and that would have landed. That, that right hand he just missed would have landed. He loaded up on that shot for sure. Yeah, Brick, you know, Bricks is showing improvement from his last fights, though. I agree. I, I see. I see a, a Bricks that is. Did you ever think you'd see Bricks throwing a jab? No, he, you know, no. he's, he's. I am not used to seeing Bricks this patient. Honestly, I mean, I, I, I mean, when he fought Greg Bono, what again? What 2020 Boston Boxing Promotions Fight of the Year? These guys were throwing haymakers for nine minutes straight. Uh, and yeah, this is definitely a most cerebral, thought-out performance from Bricks. But, I mean, Jordan Yanton can get through these punches, and he's having success now. I think Bricks definitely feeling that and ties up. Right move there by Bricks. And uh, if Jordan Yanton wants to win these rounds, he's going to have to do that a little bit more often and try and negate that jab of Bricks. That was a, definitely an effective uh, combination there from Jordan. Bricks is showing a good jab, though. I mean, I'm surprised by that. Yeah. Yanton should go to the body right there to open up these headshots. Nice uppercut. Nice uppercuts, and he gets Bricks down to a knee. One of those definitely, one of those I thought did get in there. Referee should have jumped in a little bit, uh, a little second sooner there. I thought uh, Yanton got an extra shot in after the knockdown. I think Bricks just kind of frustrated with himself uh, that he was able to put him down. I see a lot. I see a lot of uh, improvement for Jordan Yanton too. I mean, obviously the Tom Kenny fight uh, didn't last long, but I, I was, I'm liking what I'm seeing here, and uh, that's how you got to put a finishing combination together. And Bricks th down again. He's acknowledging it. I got caught, and that came from the shorter punches, not the looping. Winding up shots, those nice short left hook he threw, a nice compact short one is what started that. 10 second warning here, let's see if uh, Yanton can, uh, Bricks will survive round two. Looks like Bricks' eye is hurt. He's definitely not, uh, not feeling great after that round. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's a, in a four round fight like that, a 10-7 round's pretty much a, a death that, blow. That almost seals the deal. Yeah, that basically uh, seals the deal. For sure, I agree with you. And yes, you know, like you said. You know, Brick, Bricks was looking good with that jab. There was a there was a point in the middle of the round somewhere where he threw about 20 jabs in a row, and and uh, yeah. Yanton didn't have an answer for it. But um, unfortunately for him, he got away from using it, and then Yanton just took over with the pressure. Yeah, I mean, you could kind of just see in the last 45 seconds, Yanton really. Uh, I could maybe it was fatigue on Bricks's part, but yeah, Yanton really stepped it up. He was able to get two knockdowns in that round. One of them was from uh, body shots. The other was uh, about four, three or four headshots slipped in there. Yeah, it was nice compact punches he ran through and. Yeah, I will say that. I thought I thought that second knockdown especially very impressive. Put his punches together well. So let's see if he can get the finish here in round three. So I'll say this about Bricks, man, uh, coming forward, and I think he knows, I, this is my last chance. I have to knock this guy out. 
Nice body and shots Bricks by Yanton. Throw, getting hit with a lot of body shots here, uh, covering up. They and might stop the fight. You know, if they you're might. not, he's down again. And the referee's gonna stop it. I think Bricks gets it. It is what it is. Third round stoppage. Uh, yeah, you know, that's what Jordan Yen had to do, man. You got a uh, wounded animal in there. You gotta just throw your punches together and let him go. I think he saw that, and so he gets a third round stoppage here against against Robert Bricks. Uh, I think the time I think it's 20 seconds of round number three. So Jordan Yenton, Scott's gonna go to 2-0 in his young journey. I wonder what weight he's gonna end up at, because I think it I think he could probably get down. I'd say 130, 130 would probably suit him a lot better. Yeah. 26 seconds into the uh, third round there. Yeah, we'll have to see what the, uh, what, how he continues to develop, but I'm sure the team at South Paul Boxing and Fitness have to be really happy with his performance. Fought a guy with seven, seven pro fights and got the job done tonight. For Robert Bricks, he will come again <laughs> as he's... A, pl he, a plus effort is always with him. He tried his best, but he'll be back. I thought he had a couple decent shots in there against Yenton, but uh, you know Jordan Yenton's uh, stamina, I think, uh, really played played a big part tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 26 seconds of round number three. Your referee Tom Clark calls a halt to this contest. Your winner via TKO, Jordan, the Joker, Yenton. Oh,